All right, welcome to episode two of our What If series for the Legion, the Dark Angels, their fall to Slanesh. Slanesh. To be the best was the key. For the Dark Princes, perhaps it was fated. We organized ourselves into six paths. We were the first, the best the design by which all others would be based, and more importantly, the pure, perfect war machine that all other tainted marines would have to be compared. It was the lion who bested the wolf, the lion that had no equal, yet dogs always challenged us. The scholars looked down at us. The favored son, Horus, was chosen over us but none of that made them any better than us. There were none better than us. We are the first, the blueprint, the standard. Simply put, the best. The lion was the best and most devoted son, and yet he was shunted aside for that marauder. There are no statements of arrogance, but factual remembering. It was us who fought alongside the Emperor, and us who replaced the Thunder Warriors. It was our kin who should have been chosen to lead. But were we given the honor of becoming the Emperor's children? Was our faith and our work rewarded with his Aquila? No. Fulgrim's hedonistic, self-indulgent children received that honor. The braggadocious flamboyance of the Emperor's children only showed that they spent valuable time playing rather than training and bettering themselves. They were not the best swordsmen. We are. The Hexagrammaton is the true way, the six paths of the Legion. Had the Lion been chosen to Warmaster, none of this would have happened. The Corpse Emperor had birthed the Lion L. Johnson, but it was the Dark Prince who made the Lion a legend. Where the Emperor only chose Lion L when no others were around to choose from, Slanesh chose him first, last, and always as their champion. Our kind are the real angels. We are the prototype, and now we see the truth. It took a god to understand the value of an angel. Now we serve the Dark Prince, not as his slaves, but as his champions. Our pride never blenished, our honor never besmirched. It honestly took a god to understand what it meant to be a Dark Angel.